What's up, YouTube? For today's video, we make full two-turn moves Pokemon team. So I actually thought I did this team. You're probably thinking, you know, haven't you done this team already, Pip Knight? I thought I did it too, but I actually haven't done it. So we'll be featuring two-turn moves tonight, and uh, pretty much these are moves that take two turns to actually activate before they attack run. Now that uh, gives us today's question, what is your favorite two-turn move? I'd say mine would probably be... Shadow Force. That's a pretty cool move, hey? If you're new to the channel, make sure you've hit that subscribe button, people. Make sure you've hit that bell. Selected all the notifications, because if you miss the salt, it's not my fault. Now, today's battle, we got uh, two battles featured. I did try and do some doubles battles, but they didn't go so well, so I'm just going to be featuring the singles battles today. But I am actively trying to do doubles battles in these two, so hopefully we can get, you know, doubles battles nearly every time. All right, so this is a battle against Ghost, and, well, I'm leading with a Ghost. I did it again. I did it again, people, without even trying. All right, so we're going to go for the Phantom Force there, a Ghost-type move. We've got the Power Herb, right? We're going to be the first Ghost on the moon, and we're going to win the first turn. So that was a pretty good start to the battle. Now, this strategy revolves around a physical Drift Limb, now, I will say I've got uh, two turn moves to attack the opponent, but I do have some status moves to help support the team too, for the obvious reasons, right? So we've got max attack, max speed, and we've got the recycle, so you can recycle that power herb. Not only can you help the environment out, be a good little balloon citizen, you can actually get your power herb back and back and back again. Um, so we got the moves Pain Split and Hypnosis as well. So we got the Swallow, which is going to poison me, and I only just noticed what the Swallow's nickname was, even after recording it. My audience always trolls me. You guys just, you guys don't stop, dude. It's a never-ending pile of salt with me. Anyway, so I'm going to activate that Power Herb again and uh, slap the, uh, <clears throat> the, the, the Swallow on the uh, <clears throat> on the backside. Anyway, so Swallow's going to, man, firing an Ice Beam out of that. Jesus. Anyway, so I'm going to hit by the Ice Beam there. Nearly takes me out. The next turn, I'm probably going to go down, so I was thinking, should I go for Pain Split? Or, you know, should I just go for Recycle? It, it, I didn't really want to, like, sack any of my other Pokemon. So I just went for the Recycle again, in case it went for, like, a just a status move or something like that. It's going to go for an Ice Beam again, and it's going to fire an Ice Beam right out of there. And that is my Drift Bleem down. But not a bad start. I got rid of the Lunatoad, and I did some pretty hefty damage to the... Uh, the um, Swallow. Anyway, so the next Pokemon I've got is the Smeagol. Now, Smeagol is a uh, belly drum set. This one's pretty good. So we've got Belly Drum, uh, Spore, Shadow Force, and Skull Bash. we got the Power Herb as the item. I did run a couple of Power Herbs on other Pokemon, then I did have some other strategies. Alright, so we've got Max Attack there. Uh, the old uh, Swallop's going to go for the Stockpile. It's going to make itself a little bit more... Uh, bulky, more uh, you know, more pushing for the cushion, or cushion for the pushing, I'm not sure uh, what other way it is, so um, I'm going to go for the, I'm going to stick my head in the, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to go for the skull bash and take out the swallow, alright, because this is plus six, I mean it's, it's plus six right, but the swallow's got plus one defense, and uh, the swallow is going to go down, don't do that to me again people, those naughty names, alright, so out comes hot stuff, I can go for the shadow force in this thing, um, it's a two-turn move. The good thing about it, right, if you use the move first, you can actually disappear, right? And, uh, you can actually attack them the next turn. So I get to use my favorite, uh, two-turn uh, like two move. We're gonna go for the Shadow Force there, and the Flamethrower, right, is gonna miss. And Shadow Force is gonna be really, like, strong against the Chandelure. But of course, guys, Chandelure has a freaking Focus Sash. Why is it every battle has a Focus Sash? So my Smeagol is obviously gonna go down to the Flamethrower, but he did pretty well. He took out a, uh, a, a purple... A blue, a blue swallow, <laughs> my a blue swallow, and nearly took out a chandelier. So that's pretty good. All right, uh, so we're gonna swap in Flygon now. Flygon has Fly, Dig, Toxic, and Roost. So the idea here is to go for the Dig or the Fly, put the uh, Toxic down to just like sort of like stall the opponent out. We got Max Health and Max uh, Speed because Flygon's a pretty uh, you know fast Pokemon too. All right, so Hot Stuff's gonna go down to that. I don't think they actually wanted to swap in any of the other Pokemon. I could see why at the point in the time when I was looking at their team preview. All right, so next we got uh, Milky coming out here. I was like, I can go for a Fly or a Toxic. I thought, okay, let's go for Toxic first, then I can go for Fly. This is like a really good matchup. Uh, go -Go's not really going to be able to touch like a Flygon at all, so I'm, I'm in the clear here, boys. Anyway, so they go for Hidden Power. Oh, it's a special one. That's pretty cool there. And guess what? It has Hidden It had Hidden Power Eyes, and it must have been Choice Specs to take me out. What the heck? What the heck? What is with you, people? This is like, it, it's, it's, it's like coming up against like my own crazy sense. Anyway, so into Hunter, I'm 110, 69% sure that they're going to swap, but they stayed in with Hidden Power uh, Ice again. It's definitely Hidden Power Ice, Choice Specs, there's no way. I went for a Shell Smash here, 
And uh, that's not going to do very much to me. Thank goodness um, I didn't actually go first there. So I got the Shell Smash up. Now, this is actually a pretty interesting strategy. We got Bounce, Shell Smash, Baton Pass, and Akarig. Max Health and Max Attack. We got the Flyenium Z as the item too. So now we got the, the uh, Go Goat actually swapping out here. I've got a special little Baton Pass strategy. Normally, I don't use Baton Pass too much in theme teams. But uh, you could, actually, that's a, good, that's a good shout. Should we do like a Baton Pass theme team one time, like if just based on Baton Pass. I don't think I've done that. Someone let me know in the comments. Anyway, so I'm going to Baton Pass into Lorantis here. Now, this Lorantis set, it's a double, it's a double beam blade set. We've got Solar Blade, Scummy Day, Solar Beam, and Growth. Think about it, right? You get the Scummy Day up, right? I've got Max Attack and Max Special Attack. So you get the Growth, so you get like a plus two in Special Attack and Attack. Then you just fire those lasers off. we got a physical Lumini on here, man. This, this battle is hype. I just leave that one get that Salak Berry up, boys. And I'm going to go for the Solar Blade here. Solar Blade looks really cool. Actually, Solar Blade's probably definitely one of my favorite two-turn moves too. And uh, old Lulu is going to go down the Lulu. And uh, we got a couple of more Pokemon here. we got Go Goat and one other, which is... Oh, no, that's Milky. Milky's the Go Goat. Man, this, this Go Goat has been the go to their team. Like, I still can't believe that... Um, Hidden Paris. So I can't do anything. I'm completely well with like scummy sap zipper. I just stayed in, right? Because I'm on two health. There's nothing I can do. Uh, they're going to go for Hidden Power. Guys, this is like the most you'll ever see Hidden Power Ice be like useful in a battle. So Go Go goes down. We've got Huntail left. And we've got uh, one other Pokemon, which is my Kyrum, my Black Kyrum. So I thought I had to mean this set as best as I could. Max Health, Max Attack, Choice Band, and Free Shock. That, that's all I gave it, Free Shock. So I thought that, 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 that this would be hard to take out, but the thing about it, right, is it can't attack every turn, so there'll be some sort of recharge, right? So Glalie comes in, they expect some kind of ice move, right? Obviously, they probably start to pick up on what the team I was doing. So I'm going to go for the free shock this turn. I outspeed the Glalie, which is good. I was like, this is going to do a lot of damage to Glalie, right? If it's, it has to be really defensive. And they've got another Focus Sash. I'm like, why is that called Mega Glalie for? I thought they were going to actually Mega Evolve, but they didn't. I get the Paralyzed as a 30% chance, right? But then the Mega Mega Glady's gonna go explosion. I see why they call that name. That was like a troll name. This entire team, right, has been apt. It's just trolled me. Anyway, so explosion does some pretty sizable damage to the big boy, and uh, Glady's gonna go down. All that's left is the Choice Specs Go Go. So I was wondering, like, what does Go Go have? I'm actually low key scared of this thing, right? So, like, okay, they're not gonna go for a grass type move. Let's go into Huntail, right, and see what they're going to do. Then I could go for the Flying EMZ bounce and take him out. It's going to have Hyper Beam. It's like, okay, I, I, I knew that it would have Hidden Power. It has to have some kind of coverage room. And the Hyper Beam Go Goat, the Goat, takes out my freaking Huntail. All I've got left, right, is the Chiron Black. This thing has poison. I can go for the uh, Free Shock. I know that I can live another Hyper Beam if I, if, like, say, if it outspeeds me for some reason. And uh, it's going to be on a recharge too. All right, so swapping the big boy here, I'm going to go for the Free Shock. I've got to have that one recharge. That was how I nerfed it, right? So people could land some attacks against it so it wouldn't be invincible. It was quite funny. I did it. Uh, there was a very uh, funny bonus battle at the end which uh, featured that move. I wonder if anyone could see why it was so funny. Someone tried to get a lot of boost up. I'll let someone in the comment section uh, actually answer that one. See if you can watch or find it in the video. All right, so Milky's going to get out sped, and man, it's going to free. It's going to get free shock, people. Thank you very much for watching this first battle. It was very. Uh, <laughs> it was a funny battle to say the least. Oh, I like some of the teams and sets you guys come up with. All right, so this part, this is against uh, Hunt69 on my chat. I've got to speed this first bit up because it simply took, like, half the battle. So this Ninetales, let me give you, the like, the, the lowdown on what was going on with the Ninetales. So this white was a, uh, a rest. A, it wasn't sleep talk. It wasn't sleep talk. It was rest, fire spin, and carmine. So basically what it did, right, just, just imagine this in your mind, right? Um, basically, you're, you're just sitting in a fire, right? But there's like a fire spinning around you, but you try and hit the... You get a bucket of water, right? You tr tip it on the flames, but just as the flames are about to go out, the, the roaring fire just, you know, just goes back to where it was before. I couldn't take this thing out. I had pain split. I had I got burned. Like, they were actually pretty lucky I wasn't running a flare boost, but then against me, so I'd never run flare boost drift flame. But that's beside the point. Anyway, so it's going to be setting up these calm... I'm about to be swept. I, basically, I was about to be swept by a uh, fire spin, so one of the greatest days of my life. So Drifling pretty much just kept using Fandom Force, and it was going to go down to the Toxic eventually. Or the, the burn and the... Uh, I thought this had Toxic. The burn and the fire spin damage. All it did was sleep for half the battle. So Drift Flame's going to have like one more final swap out here. And we're going to go into Smeagol. So I thought, okay, I can go for the Belly Drum and go for the Skull Bash. I mean, I'm not I'm not versing a Swallow at this time, so it should be all good. So Kuruma's going to wake up and land against the freaking Will-O-Wisp. Again, Skull Bash hits like super, super hard here. Even after the uh, Will-O-Wisp.
Willowis. It would have easily taken out one shot, but it didn't. So I was like, oh, what am I going to do here then? But it took me out of the fire spin. So at the moment, I was getting swept by a fire spin. So now I thought, okay, I can go out to Huntel and get the shell smashes up, and I've got Baton Pass to, you know, get out of this game. Or I could go for the Z move. Now, in this battle, I think I... No, this was the battle I forgot my Z Crystal, I'm pretty sure. And I was so salty about it. I was like, I'm going to swap it in. Shell Smash and do it. So I couldn't I, I couldn't do my Z move right. So I was like, okay, let's go for Akaring and then go for Baton Pass and uh, see if we can get some Shell Smashes up or just go for normal bounce. So I've got my Akaring up, which is sort of like healing off the fire spins. And this thing couldn't really touch me at all. So I'm going to launch myself. I'm going to bounce into the sky right. And uh, finally, guys, we're going to take out the Lord Kuruma with the uh, bounce. Man, that took so much of the battle. That When I look back on the full battle, we nearly took half the time. So I was so salty about that. All right, the next Pokemon we got is the Umbreon. I'm going to put it down to normal speed now because it wasn't so solid. Uh, we got we got a physical Umbreon there doing some solid damage with a quick attack. I'm going to go for the Baton Pass here. I thought this is an appropriate time, right, to go into my Double Beam Blade uh, Lurantis. Now, Lurantis is a really cool Pokemon. Even after the Shell Smashes, I wasn't really super fast, so that's why I put the... Um, I put the Salic Barrow. So we're going to set up the Sun here, and uh, now we can go for the Solar Blade or the you know Solar Blade or Solar Beam, and then you can go for Growth right and boost like both of them. I thought it was a really cool strategy. Obviously, it's very easily walled and stuff like that, but it, it was pretty fun for this team run. Okay, so now Arbreus is going to keep going for Quick Attack. That's the only way to outspeed me. I'm pretty sure it's Choice Band, <laughs> Choice Band, and Arbreus. I like the I like the way you think there, man. And I'm going to go for the uh, Solar Blade here. Solar Blade looks awesome. I have to say, Solar Blade and. Um, Shadow Force are probably my two favorites. Like, like the animation style, right? All right, uh, so the Umbra is going to go down to the Solar Bait, which is really good. Uh, we got some little bit of recovery there from the Akaring too. So next Pokemon we've got it coming in is the Alola Nine Towers. So like, okay, this this could be bad, people. I, I, I probably won't be able to outspeed this, and I'll go down to like an Ice Beam, Freeze Dry, or Blizzard. But instead of that, it had Ice Shard. It was a physical Nine Towers. And, and boys, boys and girls of the world, I got KO'd by it. An Ice Shard. Beautiful. I, that, that, I'm not even angry about that. That was good. That was good. I, I like that. And so we're going to go into Huntel now. I thought I might be able to go for a bounce, get some damage off against this thing. It's going to have Zen Headbutt. I was like, okay, please don't actually flinch me here. And it doesn't flinch, and I get the bounce up. Now, the funny thing here is I bounce into the air. I can you just imagine an, an eel bouncing into the air. Like, I'm just trying to... I'm trying to pitch that. Like, would it be swirling around, like, in a circle? I don't, I don't know. Anyway, so Nine Tails is going to actually swap out there. It's fearing my bounce. And in comes... In comes Potato! I was hoping I could paralyze Potato, right? I mean, it actually does have kind of a Potato now. It's like real, like real talk here, people. So it's got red card, and it's going to fling out my uh, hunt out. Which is pretty good, because I would have gone down to the hail. But the most savage moment is, right, Drifling comes in, and, and it gets hit by the hail. So that's my Drifling gone. I could have used that for Pain Split, which would have been really good. Also, I could have used it to swap into Slaking later on. Oh, so it, it's sort of like Salt Rain at the moment. All right, so now we're going to bring in the big boy. We've got the Terra Vault happening. I've got to get back into this game, people. I've got to go for my Free Shock. And uh, we've got Hyper Beam special, special Slaking here. Man, say Special Slaking 69 times in a row. I bet you'll mess it up. So going for the, uh, p this is not the uh, Power Herb. This is the Choice Ban Free Shock. And uh, since Slaking is true and right, it's not going to be able to attack me this turn. So, I mean, if it gets any other Pokemon, I would have definitely taken some damage. And uh, this big boy is not going to be able to live this. This is a very, very powerful attack. I did this as Adam and Nature. So, max attack with a Choice Band. Like, even things that resisted it, we're getting hit so hard. Uh, Kyron Black is a very, very powerful Pokemon in, on the attacking side. Okay, so we got Nine Tails. I'm wondering what Nine Tails could actually do to me. I was thinking, well, the worst it could probably do would be flinching me with Zen Headbutt, and I uh, wouldn't be able to get the free shock off. Something like that. That'd be horrible. However, we got a Z move here being a uh, Normalium Z. So I was thinking, what normal MZ could this be? I was like, is it, is it, is it going to be Tail Whip? And it, it, it's Tail Whip. So what Tail Whip does, like normal MZ Tail Whip, if you haven't tried it before, which a lot of you probably haven't. So basically, you um, you pull your pants down, you wiggle your tail right, you get a plus one on attack, and you drop the opponent's defense. So, you know, not a bad attack, right? And you get to moon your opponent. So uh, we got a little plus. Well, basically, it's like a, neat, a plus two in attack when you take the uh, opponent's defense into like account, right? So since I was running max health, I took that one rather well. And I'm going to get the free shock off here and even though nine tiles resisted it gets reacting one here this thing is so powerful like you seen it before on the battle before uh with the glalie and the nine tiles like just neutral sweeping ice pokemon like th they get wrecked all right so we've got flare and come in i really can't do much this at all except go for the free shock again i was low-key hoping i could live this a lot better 
the next flame charge I can actually live. So I was sort of like excited. Like, is that its best move? Or like, you know, will I be able to live this one? If I do, like Flareon's probably going to go down in one shot if it's a sweeping set, right? So I've got my charge happening. A Flareon's also getting hit by the hail. The good thing about the hail is it's actually not hurting my Kyrie either. And it's going to be a mix set. It's got hidden power. I don't know. And that's going to take out my Kyrie in uh, one shot there. I mean, I've got my, I've got my, um, I got my, uh, what's the, what, what's the word? I, I forgot what the word was. It'll come back to me in a second. So I'm going to swap in my fly, suspicions. That's what it is, suspicions. So into fly gods, so I thought this would be good, right? I could go for the toxic and the dig against this thing. Now we got a special, this is like a speedy, uh, speedy special, uh, flare out. So they're using the, um, the, they're using the move they used before uh, to boost the speed, and uh, obviously they got three special attacks right. So I'm going to go underground there, but do a little bit of burrowing. This is actually quite cool because Flygon has got Fly and Dig and the Toxic, and then it's got Roost right. It's quite a fast Pokemon because a lot of time you could get that off, and you could change your type too. So we got the Leaf Hole coming in here. I haven't revealed that I got Fly, and I thought this is actually really good because Flygon is good against uh, Flareon, and it's actually quite good against Leaf on too. But I was thinking, what sort of Leaf on set or Le Leaf on set is this going to be? So go for the Toxic. Right, I thought that's that's really important. Get that toxic up. This thing can be fairly bulky. Now the funny part about it, right, is the leaf one actually goes for the scummy day. Now they don't have chlorophyll, right? They actually have uh, leaf guard. So if they got that scummy day off before, toxic would have failed. So that was actually a very very important move there, and it was a good thing they actually ran our uh, max speed on this instead of running like max defense or special defense or something like that, bro. Anyway, so we got the leaf on poison. I can go easily go for fly. I mean, I could go for fly, or I could swipe out the hunter. I thought, let's see what, let's see what they actually has. Let's go into hunter. It's only on 16 health. I can get at least like one turn of the toxic going, and uh, then swap him back with your fly gun. So we got a special set with the sun and the solar beam there. It's good to see solar beam. Well, I mean, solar beam actually suits this team because that's a two turn uh, move too. They've actually used the sun to make it one turn. All right, so hunter's down. He was a brand in this battle again, and uh, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna bring in the fly gun. So Flygon has to take out both the evolutions. You've got to take out the Flareon and the Leaf on right. So things are looking a little bit uh, scary at the moment. So I'm going to have a little fly in the end. So Knock Off is going to knock off my leftovers. Would have actually done some pretty good damage too. It's actually a mixed set. So it was actually it was, it was a mixed Flareon and it was a mixed uh, Leaf on. Pretty cool. So go for the fly here. I don't have any attacking EVs, but I think it's more of a sweeping set. And uh, that is going to take out the Leaf on in one shot, which is pretty good. So all we got left now is the Flare on. So Flare on is going to have to do, you know, it's going to have to take me out almost in one shot. Because if I go for the dig, the Toxic racks up another stage. That's going to do a lot of damage, especially if this is like more of a sweeping Flare up. All right, so going for the dig there, it's not going to be able to outspeed me, which is good. Now the funny thing is, say if you dig on the ground right and you're a flying type, then someone uses Earthquake, it still won't affect you. But say if you're not the flying type, it, it will do double damage. It's quite an interesting move, Dick. All right, so go for dig on the Flare and that's going to hit it right in the face. And uh, that is the game, my people of the world. World. Hope you enjoyed both these battles. It was a pretty fun team to do, and you got to check that bonus battle out there. It was crazy. Peace.